how are you doing? Happy weekend. I hope you're having a good time. Uh, today I received my July Sephora play or play by Sephora. I can never remember what one is correct, but we all know what I'm talking about. But if we don't know what I'm talking about, Sephora Play is a monthly beauty subscription by the, the company Sephora. So we get all um, sample size items of things you can find online or in stores at Sephora. Uh, like I mentioned, everything is sample size. I don't think I've ever gotten a full size item in this box before, but it is $10 a month, so it's kind of affordable. Um, but on the other hand, you can get Ipsy and get some bigger size stuff or full size things. But I still enjoy my Sephora Play. I've gotten some good things. It's a great way to try new products and I love that um, if you find anything you like there is an easy way to purchase it sometimes in subscription boxes. Um, in the past I've had experiences where I tried something and really liked it and it wasn't really easy to obtain or like buy online. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea what's coming in my box. I did watch some other unboxings, or like actually just one, and their box seemed really awesome. Um, there are variations in this box, so I have no idea if I will get the same thing, uh, but I would be happy if I did, but I'm okay getting whatever. We'll see what I get, so let's get unboxing. Um, and of course, I will leave the link down below if you're interested in getting Sephora Play. So, yeah. All right, so here is the inside of the box. There is a little like pamphlet, and then all of the goodies are in this Ziploc bag, and it's green this month. It's just like pinker, like magenta type color. So uh, another cool uh, benefit with this subscription is you get Sephora Play Points, uh, some Beauty Insider Points, uh, 50 of them, and you can use them online or in stores, so that is cool. And they, um, yeah, they last until the end of August, so you have some time to like use your samples and purchase something or purchase whatever you want at Sephora. And this uh, goes like you know folds out. Um, one side's all the items. I'm gonna try not to look. And on the other, um, it talks about the theme and all of that. It's always super cute and colorful. Let's see what it says this month. Isle of Beauty. Follow the clues and find your way to the buried beauty treasure. Start here. Your first clue. What ensures your pores are cleared and there's no dirt to be featured? Um, and then I guess you move on to Cleanser Cove. Okay, so yeah, Cleanser, I guess, I don't know. But you like follow this, it's like a little map, it's cute. I won't read it all to you guys, but it's always like a little fun activity usually. Um, so I like that, or you like get to learn more about certain things. Uh, so the theme is Isle of Beauty. I don't really know what that means, but yeah. On the back it says, oh, okay, Island of Beauty. And on the other side, I'm trying not to look at the products, but it says, Desert, um, desert Island Essentials. Let's say you can only take six beauty products to a desert island. What are they? If you're not sure, we have some suggestions. That's cute. I like the thing this month. Like, I've seen some people do like tags and stuff on um, YouTube. Like, if you can only keep one, what would it be? Uh, I don't know if I've seen anyone do like the desert island thing, but that's similar. So, yeah. Let's see what's in here. It seems like really cool this month. So you usually get five items and then one bonus item, and the bonus item is usually like a perfume sample or a foil packet. So I'm just gonna grab the first thing. Oh my god, I wanted this the most. This is the first I pulled out. Awesome. This is my Drunk Elephant, and this is their Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I saw someone else get it. I was watching Amadabs. That's the one video I watched, and I think she got this. Uh, or I'm pretty sure she did, because I also I know. Um, and I am really excited to try this because I've heard it's a great cleanser. Uh, so this is the Kiwi Strawberry Seed Blend with Virgin Marula Oil plus Bamboo Booster. So I think this is like a cleansing balm and I um, am almost out of my pharmacy cleansing balm that I received in Sephora Play. Oh, this is a decent size. Oh, there's some, oh, the um, Bamboo Booster is separate. So there's like two dark elephant things. So yeah. The Slay, um, if I'm saying it right, S-L-A-A-I Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. And then the Bamboo Booster Exfoliant. So Bamboo Extract Charcoal Powder. So you can just add this to your, um, so it says use one to two times a week, add our Bamboo Booster to Slay for a customized skin refining physical exfoliation to aid in the removal of dead skin cells that have accumulated on the surface overnight. This is so awesome. So I think this is like, just looks like a balm, let's see. Yes, I have fallen in love with cleansing balls. I think they do such a good job and I wanted to try this one, but the full size is like pretty expensive. So let's see what it says on here. It doesn't give the full size pricing, which is like the one thing I wish it did on here. 
So Drunk Elephant. Um, it says the only thing this cleansing balm leaves behind is a dewy glow. Um, plus it comes with an extra exfoliator made with bamboo and charcoal powder. And then it talks about the ingredients. Um, and also it has like two badges here. It says it's exclusive to Sephora um, and it is a new product. So the marula seed oil moisturizes and nurtures the skin. The Kalahari melon seed oil soothes and calms the skin. And the Baobab, I'm probably saying that wrong, Baobab seed oil softens and dissolves makeup. I'm really excited to try this out. So this is the one thing I really wanted this month. So yay. So happy. Uh, next up is my um, sample, so, or like the bonus. This is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. Uh, I will put this in my giveaway. I actually have the full size of this and I really do enjoy this perfume so I'll let one of you guys um, get this. So it's just like one of those sample size. So I'll put this in um, my drawer. I have a drawer full of giveaway stuff. Oops, it almost fell out. Um, for my upcoming giveaway. So we are less than 150 away from 6K and when we hit that we're definitely going to have a big giveaway. So this will go in it. It smells great. I have this. Um, I'll be saying when it's gone, but yeah. So this says bonus, Marc Jacobs fragrance, Daisy. Um, feminine, playful, and a little unpredictable. Uh, the sophisticated scent still knows how to have a good time. It's in the floral fra fragrance family. Uh, the top note is white raspberry, the middle note is daisy tree petals, and the bottom note is sugar musk. And it smells phenomenal. This is another thing that will go in the giveaway, the Caudalie Vino Pure Serum. I might actually be bag twins. Hmm. Uh, so let's read more about this. I'm pretty sure this brand is not cruelty free, that's why I will pass it on. Um, but I have used this line before, the Vino Pure. I've used um, their serum. I wonder if this is the same one. It didn't come in this packaging, it was like in a white little, or like a clear tube and it was white. but. So this is the um, Vino Pure. Oh, this is different. Cool. It has uh, salicylic acid for pore minimizing. Uh, there's only so much room that is in a survival kit. So packing this multitasking serum that diminishes the look of pores and zaps blemishes. And it, this was chosen for my skin concerns. So I'm. There must have been a quiz or something, but I do acne and stuff, <laughs> and in large pores is my chin, skin concern. So I wonder if there was there. Will you guys refresh my memory? Is there a beauty quiz for Sephora Play when you sign up? Please let us know. But it says use this morning and night, apply a dime size amount to your clean, dry face. Uh, you can use it as a spot treatment for problems areas overnight. So I will put this in my giveaway as well. Um, ooh, oh wait, did I get this already? I think this is a repeat item. I th is this the first time this has happened to me? I'm pretty sure I got this. Wow, this, like, most of this bag is going to you guys, I think. This is by Bite Beauty, which I love. This is uh, um, their matte cream in Glace. Let me just check right now and see if I do have it. Wow, that was actually really easy to find. I think I, I was kind of going through my drawer earlier and I saw this. So yeah, I already got this and I'm pretty sure I got it in Sephora Play. So that's kind of a bummer, even though it's an awesome product. So I'll show you mine. Um, so yeah, double checking it is the right one. So this is mine, you can see it is used. This is really pretty. This is a good reminder for me to use it, but I swear it was the same subscription box. I'm getting the same thing, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but I think Bite Beauty is uh, awesome. And this might not be full size, but it is a very good size that will last a long time. Let's see how far it goes up without ruining it. Ooh. So yeah, and I have used it, so it's even more than that. So that'll last a little while. I love the formula. It's a very pretty shade. I feel like it would look good on pretty much all skin tones. So this is also going in my future giveaway. So far it's three for you, one for me. And there's an other things in here too. You know, being cruelty free is really like, made me think more about what boxes I get, but like that drunk elephant thing like made it for me, but is that $10? But um, here let's, the next thing is something I actually am working on finishing up right now. I have barely any left and I do like this. This is a Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. 
and this does work really well. Um, it says, feel calm, cool, and collected knowing this liquid remover will take off even the most budge-proof makeup. And that's what I do use it for. I use it to take off my mascara. Like, the mascara I'm using right now, it doesn't say it's waterproof, but it's really hard to get off. Like, cleansing balms really help, too. But on days I'm lazy, like, <laughs> I just use, like, my cellar water in this. So this will be going in the giveaway as well because Clinique is not cruelty-free. And the last item... I need to look at this brand, I can't remember, but I want to say this is also not cruelty free. This is the Kiehl's Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. Instantly skin feels firmer and looks smoother. It's an overnight mask. And it says, um, let's see, where is this? Fall asleep anywhere, even a desert island with this on, and you'll wake up with visibly firmer, smoother skin. Apply a quarter size amount to cleanse skin before bed and leave it on while you catch those Z's. In the morning, cleanse the skin to remove the mask. So I'm going to double check the status of this brand. Okay, so Kiehl's unfortunately sells in mainland China and therefore uh, they consent to have their products tested on animals by Chinese local authorities. So this is going in the giveaway as well. So kind of a bummer. Um, I guess only two out of the six items were cruelty free, but one is a product I already uh, have so that's going in the giveaway. So the only thing I'm keeping for myself out of this box um, is the Drunk Elephant product, which is like the one thing I really wanted um, after watching an unboxing. So I'm glad I'm getting this. So it's kind of a bummer. I guess I'm gonna have to like see what I keep getting in this box uh, and make a decision on what I want to do. I mean, it is affordable. It's ten dollars, and it's really nice that I get to share like five things in my giveaway. So like you know that makes me happy. I get to share with you like. But if I was not a YouTuber that had giveaways and like subscribers to give stuff to, that you know, I don't think I'd probably continue this. But again, I'm gonna see how the next few months are. I recently uh, made the change to becoming 100% cruelty free. I have things in my collection, a decent amount of things actually that are not um, that I do not personally consider cruelty free. Um, that I'm gonna be using up. But anything I receive that is unopened, etc., like um, not used, I will be passing on. So. Yeah, but I guess I'm just like so excited to get the Drunk Elephant product, like, you know, it's okay. But it's kind of a bummer to get a repeat item. Like, that's more of a bummer to me than getting the items that aren't cruelty free because Bite Beauty is awesome. I would love to have tried it in another shade, but now one of you guys would get to rock it. So, anyways, you guys have to let me know down below are we bag twins? Which did you guys get? What was your favorite item? Have you tried this Drunk Elephant product before? Does it work well? Uh, how's it compared to the Green Pharmacy one? Oh my god, I'm so excited. But anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing night. I will see you in my next video. Bye!